Madam, let us start at uh, 11.05. Tirti, madam. Are you there? Yes, sir. I'm here, sir. Yes. yes okay, yes. sir. Yeah, we'll start yeah. at 11.05. 11 11.05. Yeah. Good morning, uh, Muktesh Garu. There are two guests, Ashrita and uh, Vigneshwari joined. Welcome to the webinar. We'll start at 11.05. You can project our webinar poster, Kitim, madam. Once Sopranamam starts, she will share the, her screen. Ah, can keep our poster as a screen. Hey, sorry. Good morning. When you say good morning, I had to type, but it's okay. <laughs> please. Good morning. Yeah. Yeah. Proceed. Please proceed. Yeah. <laughs> please welcome if some uh, some of your contacts or any aspirants. I started putting in all groups. Somebody is looking who are not a qualified, still searching for because they JE result. So also yet to come. They're not yet decided. Few most of the students are waiting for JE results. They can actually have a look at our institute. Mm -hmm. Yes, madam. We'll start. Let others join slowly. <coughs> Uh, good morning, everyone, uh, and a warm welcome to all those who are present for today's session. Uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, I'm architect Keithi, and I'm working as assistant professor in Geetam School of Architecture. And then, and on behalf of Geetam School of Architecture, I welcome you all to the Geetam School of Architecture webinar series 2022 on the topic Successful Career in Architecture, organized by School of Architecture, Hyderabad, for the aspiring students of architecture, their parents, guardians, and mentors. This series consists of webinars on every Saturday and Sunday for a few more weeks by renowned practicing architects on various topics. Today's talk is by architect Sopani Paul, landscape architect, researcher, and an academician. With more than 12 years of experience in landscape architecture and master planning projects, Ms. Paul has handled diverse projects ranging from private residences to townships, large-scale public projects, canals, and lakefronts. She has participated in different phases of the design processes, from planning analysis, conceptual design, and det detailed design development, and has a keen aptitude for site activity coordination, project progress monitoring, and client management, and teamwork skills. Her research interest lies in urban biodiversity, landscape ecology, cultural landscapes, urban waterscapes, and urban planning. She has multiple publications to her credit in reputed journals and presented at several national and international conferences. Presently, we are delighted to have her on, on board with us on Geetam School of Architecture, and she's working as assistant professor for Geetam School of Architecture, Hyderabad. May I now invite architect Sopani Paul to talk about her journey as architect, educator, and researcher. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, Kirti, ma'am, for the nice introduction. So today I will describe my journey of 18 years as a student of architecture and finally as a faculty in the Geetam School of Architecture, Hyderabad. So just to make the talk a little bit less boring, I will show some slides and make it like a make it sound like a story is my screen visible to all of you yes ma'am yes, yes, ma yes. okay 
Okay, so my love for architecture started when I was in class six or seven, when my parents were searching for an apartment to buy in Kolkata. So I was fascinated to see these blueprints, drawings, plans, section, elevations that the developers would show us and how these drawings would transform into a building on site. And as buyers, we were always looking for faults in that building that this is not good, this area should not have been here, this balcony should have been bigger. So, and then I used to tell my mother, okay, when I grow up, I will make a nice house for you. I will design and make a nice house for you. So that never happened. But still from there, it, the love for architecture started for me. And as a student, I hated computer science, I hated chemistry and physics, which are the most important subjects for a student. But somehow I loved biology and mathematics. And later in the in class 10 to 12, I found my interest in geometry, solid geometry, transformation geometry. And I was very fascinated. There was actually a polytechnic school next to our house where we could see the polytechnic students carrying these accessories with them whenever they went to class. And I was fascinated by these roll packs and these drawing accessories. So I thought, okay, I, I want to do nice geometrical drawings with these. And obviously in class 12, we had to take the main entrance examination. IIT was not my cup of tea, so I skipped it. I attempted for AICT. My mathematics and statistics was good. So I attempted for Indian Statistical Institution. And obviously the West Bengal Board of West Bengal Joint Entrance Examination because I was a local from Calcutta. My rank was good in the Joint Entrance exam, but somehow I could not qualify for the architectural exam in AICT because I was not aware that I have to take special classes and take a course to appear for the architectural exam of AICT. So later I took the, took the what do you say, the training? the architectural drawing training. And in West Bengal, after the joint entrance exam, we have this geometrical drawing aptitude test. I'm talking of way back in 2003 when the NATA was not there in the scene. GDAT was the main exam for architectural entrance in West Bengal. And fortunately, I came up with a rank 15 and I got admitted into the Department of Architecture in Jadavpur University. The other choice that I opted was mathematics honors in St. Xavier's College. But somehow, since I always preferred architecture, I joined architecture in Jadavpur University. So from 2003 to 2008, I was a student of architecture in Jadavpur University. And we learned multiple subjects on which the main one was architectural design. I would say I was not very good at design, but somehow the other subjects together with the design, I did pretty well in the course. And what I liked most about architecture course studies is the extensive tools that we had. In Jadapur University, it was mainly Indian architectural studies. So for three years, we travels the entire India, from North India, Central India, South India. It was divided into three parts for the three years and it was delightful. So it was like one month of architectural tour every year. It was very hectic, but it was so enlightening and it was so nice to see the Indian architecture, to go there, spend time, do the measure drawing, learn the history at the site itself, just not from our boring history books, so that is always my love, the reason for love in architecture. Other than that, I participated in several national design student competition. So this is also one thing which is very unique to architectural studies. No other stream would have such competitions where students from different architectural colleges will come to a single platform. They would sit and present their designs. They would present it in front of very eminent jury, sometimes national, sometimes international juries. And fortunately, I participated in four competitions in which I won three of them. So it was a very pleasurable experience. And it was like a family also. The same ethos of the INSDAC people who organized this competition, 
they we are still in touch with them so whatever happens they sometimes call us for new design concept they sometimes call us for jury we get to interact with students they get to interact with part with practicing architect so it was a very good platform to get exposure and gain knowledge and somehow i like new delhi very much so i took up my internship in new delhi in interior in an interior firm that was the first time i started learning about the details of interior design how these small small joints are made how furniture design is done how the colors panels everything is coordinated in a small room in an enclosed space but somehow after this six months of training i thought that this is not my subject i am not very keen in interior i enjoy it but i don't want to make a personally i don't don't want to make a career in interior so that was the end of interior for me for in architecture usually for the first by the final year we do a architectural thesis now why we call it a thesis it is basically a project but it involves a research part of it and then a design part of it and combined we call it an architectural thesis in jadavpur university it is one year of architectural thesis in which the first six years is mainly research and documentation and the second six years which is the final semester is the architectural design and i was always interested in planning so i took up a rural planning project in west bengal and this is how it came up it involved vernacular architecture that is the use of local material and local design techniques in the architectural design so at the end of fifth year that typical junction in life again arrived what about the masters what about the project the post graduation what is the career plan what do i want to do what what stream should i select what is my interest should i work should i study should i go for a phd should i open my own office so in the five years of architecture three subjects appealed to me one is landscape architecture the other is environmental planning and the third is urban planning so because of different projects that we did in the student competitions or in the course curriculum these subjects always appealed to me so i was not able to select at that point of time so i thought okay let me take a break from studies and work for two years two years three years whatever future will decide later so i joined a very reputed firm in kolkata it is one of the largest firm where i worked as a junior architect and then i had a good exposure in how to make practical architectural drawings how to make presentation drawings to present it before the client how to make brochure drawings for the buyers how to make the sanction drawings how to make those blueprints which always fascinated me when i was a child and then i for the first time i got to see how they are really made in an office and also the budget planning sometimes the client would come and say okay this is out of my budget please make it low budget so this and also for the first time i saw that architect is not the only person who is involved in a building process so they are the mep or phd consultant who take care of the sanitation drainage issues the structural consultant who take care of the structure that the building should stand the columns the joists the strength of the building the pcb consultant the which concerns the environmental aspects like what kind of trees should be there what are the amount of green areas should be there what are the materials that you should be using in the landscape to make it more sustainable how much rain water harvesting you should do how much water harvesting you should do and how will you use that for well, process water in your site so there are different calculations which would come from the pcb consultant and also the landscape consultant who would work on the exteriors of the building the area bet between the building and the boundary wall sometimes beyond also but basically for the type of projects that i did in a space it was mainly the outside how the driveway will happen what the parking will be there what are the kind of landscape elements a senior citizens area children's play area what kind of trees should be there whether we are going to have a water body a fountain so gradually i realized that okay maybe i prefer landscape more than the other subjects so at the end of two years i took this gate exam in which 
my rank came up really well. And I applied for all the three subjects in the School of Planning and Architecture. All the three courses that I liked, I applied for them. I said, okay, let's see what happens. We can choose later. And fortunately, I got selected for all three of them. But due to my love for landscape, my love for biology, I finally chose landscape architecture. And I do not regret that. So in the two years of landscape architecture in SPA Delhi, it was a very intensive course, four semester, very intensive. And we mostly learned about ecological landscape design. So usually whenever we hear of landscape, we think, oh, landscape is only about trees and maybe a little bit of water body here and there. But there we learned that, okay, landscape is not only about trees. In fact, landscape is not at all about, about trees. Trees are the last element or a tool in landscape architecture. And there are so many things to it. So in those four years, starting from the geology or what lies below the soil to the planting the tree in the end. So it was a very beautiful course, I would say. And it was a very beautiful experience. And because New Delhi is uh, the capital of India and there are a lot of good architectural firms in Delhi. We got a good exposure from the eminent practicing architects in the city and beyond. So they would come and teach us, they would show us their work, they would take us to their site. So overall, it was a very beautiful experience. So this was the, my thesis in the, my postgraduate course, which was an institutional landscape design. And this is generally how a landscape plan looks like. And 2012, I graduated. So I became a post-graduation, post-graduate with landscape architecture as my specialization. And I started working as a landscape architect. And I worked in these three main firms, the single associates in Delhi. And later I again went back to Kolkata where I worked for Design Accord and Maya as consulting landscape architects. Design Accord is again a Delhi-based firm. They have their projects all over India. And I used to look after the projects in Kolkata. I was the team leader and for both Maya and Design Accord and all the projects in Kolkata were under me and I used to guide a team of, it was a small team, seven to eight people. And somehow when, when this journey started as to work as a landscape architect, I saw that for the first time I realized that architecture is not a desktop job. So out of six days or five days in a week, I used to be on site for three to four days at least because landscape was not a very, what would I say? People don't know how to read a landscape drawing at that time, 2012. So I had to be on the site to explain the drawing, the design, the materials, how to do the joints, how to place the material, even how to cut a stone. Sometimes we really had to explain to the workers how to cut a granite in a particular shape that we have designed. So it was very extensive site state, site, what do you say, site visit, and also coordination meeting. Because landscape is dealing about the external part of the building. So the drainage issues is the main thing. And also the PCB consultant again comes into the picture. So it was extensive coordination and site visits. And we usually think that, okay, Architecture is not for the women. It's not for the girls because it's not a desktop job. We have to be on the side. But from my experience, I would say at this stage, it doesn't matter whether you are a girl, a boy, a woman, whatever, you can be there on the side. People are there to help you. People are there to take care for you. And for me, I was not a sports person, but a bit daredevil. So I would really like to go up to the 30th story of a building on those workers lift and look down and see how the landscape would look from top. And overall, it was nice. I, know, I would never say that architecture is not a woman's job. And I would encourage all women that don't think, don't be scared to go to the site and deal with the workers. They are also nice people. So other than this site visit and this actual, pra actual practical part of it, I was also involved into the different phases of design. And at the same time, I was a visiting faculty in the Jadavpur University, my alma mater. 
I had taken courses both UG and PG level in landscape design and architectural design. So I used to visit there two to three times in a week. And it was a good break from the practical training. I loved this interaction with students, working with them, see the new ideas. So later thought, okay, maybe teaching will also be an option for me. So some of the projects that I did for these offices in Kolkata are the residential landscape design, the ecological landscape design. We did the lakefront for a very huge lake in the north of Kolkata and different type of public amenities and facilities like bus stand stadiums. So for, I worked for four years and after that I thought I would, I would like to take a break from work because work was hectic, it was enjoyable but still hectic. So basically I moved to Europe to stay with my husband who was doing a postdoctoral job in Europe, in Netherlands in the beginning and then Germany. So I stayed with him for a few years. He has done his doctoral, he has done his doctorate from IIT and then he shifted to Europe for his postdoctoral thing. And then I did a small course, a three month postgraduate diploma course in Netherlands. And also at the same time, I started my PhD. So in the beginning, I did not think when I started my career or even when I was working, I never thought that I would do a PhD, but then thought, okay, since I'm taking a break, let's, let me do a PhD, let me do some research, which will combine all the subjects I loved from my childhood, which is the planning, environmental planning, sustainability, and also biology. So I, I could never get out of that thing that I, I'm missing biology. So that's why I chose my PhD topic as urban biodiversity and landscape systems in my own city, Kolkata. And finally, I submitted my PhD two months back in 2022. So this is my PhD topic where I tried to find out what are the main environmental issues and out of which losses of biodiversity. So biodiversity is the living beings, the flora and fauna, and also the services we receive from them inside a city. And now with the growth of, now with the urbanization and growth of cities and so many houses are being built. So we are losing these green spaces in a city. And as a result, we are losing the biodiversity. And it is very important and it is a very major what do you say, major crisis that biodiversity is losing very fast. So my PhD aim of the research was to enhance the urban biodiversity for my city of Kolkata. So I worked on the, I tried, tried to find out what are the different types of biodiversity existing in the city. I deduced the city biodiversity index of Kolkata. That was the first of his, first time it was done. So it was published in the paper. It is there on the MOEF website also. I studied the landscape systems of Kolkata. So this plan was generated by me where all the green and blue spaces in the city are plotted properly and then distributed ward wise. And then we can find out what is the lacking, which wards are lacking, what is the per person availability of works of green space, what is the standard, what is the international standard, where we are lacking, what we can do. And I studied the cultural landscapes of Kolkata. Cultural landscape is something that is generated out of nature with the influence of man. So it is a very important aspect of landscape and it is a very sustainable thing because it has, it has generated over years. So it has survived through decades. So for that, I studied the canals and rivers of Kolkata. And finally, I came up with the local biodiversity strategies and action plans of Kolkata. My guide and mentor for last 18 years is Dr. Shuchandra Bodhan, who is also a landscape architect. And, and I just follow her footsteps most of the time. So sometimes she tells me now that, okay, you are grown up enough. You can do your work on your own. You can write the papers on your own. And I tell her, no, I'm not. Please guide me. So basically I cannot do anything without her. So 2017 onwards, I was very much involved in research. 
I published several papers in international journals. I attended several international conferences and one conference in Hyderabad in this year. So right now I'm very much into research. And at the same time, during my stay in Europe, I traveled. So as I told you that when I was a student in architecture, I traveled the entire India in minute details, documenting and measure drawing. And very fortunately, since I lived in Europe for five years, I traveled through Europe in the similar detail with photography, documentation, research, and understanding the socio-cultural context, why this kind of architecture is happening, what was the reason behind it. So I got some time. So along with research, this was my pastime. And I would say that because I studied architecture, I could appreciate these things in a better way than any other layman or maybe from any other stream, like if you are a computer science engineer, or if you are a botanist, maybe, or any other thing. So but whenever we see, a, whenever we travel to see a place, it is either the architecture or the history of the place or the natural feature. So I'm a biodiversity planner, I'm an architect, and I have some knowledge in history also. So that's why maybe I enjoyed this travel and stay in Europe. And finally, in 2021, I joined as an assistant professor in the Geetam. My husband is working in the IIT as an assistant professor. So I started my career in Geetam. I teach interior design, architectural design, and human settlements and town planning. And also, I am the NASA coordinator and research publication coordinator. NASA is that student, is the National Association for Students of Architecture. So it is a common platform conducted and organized by the students of all the architecture colleges all over India. Where they come together, they showcase their design, they talk to each other, interact, and learn from each other. So I'm the coordinator for that. And as a faculty, my teaching principles are experiential learning, where I do not believe in classroom teaching. So whatever I teach in class, I, I, I want to take people either to a site or to a, or to a building under construction. So to see what is actually happening, what we are learning in class and what is actually happening in the site. So that's all. And at the end of 18 years, it is not the end actually, it's still the beginning. And I don't know where life will take in future, but at the end of 18 years, I can say that I'm very happy and satisfied with my life choices, be it architecture, be it landscape architecture, be it teaching, be it research. And another thing that I would like to say that whenever I, wherever I work as a professional, as a junior architect, or even as a faculty now, wherever I worked, it was always like a family. So whether I'm working in an office of 80 people or seven people or even Geetam, so it's always like a family. We are very closely related to each other. So it is not like any other multinational office where you don't know who the person is sitting next to you. But rather here we know what the other person is cooking, where the other person is traveling, and we discuss. So even if we are working, we are very much into, what do you say, we have a, we call them more friends than colleagues. So this is something I find very different from architecture, in different in architecture from other things. So I really enjoy that. So I would say I never regretted any of my decision. I'm very happy and satisfied. And I would like to continue. So that's all. That's my journey in architecture. Uh, thank you, Sopani. That was uh, actually, in a sense, it was a nostalgic moment because all both of us graduated almost around the same year and uh, i could literally um, you know get to see all your journeys and relate with my i mean relate my experiences as well uh, thank Please, you i am for sure that. everybody will be it will be same yeah, for everybody a small and closely knit world you know someone you know we know or we always know each other someone in common because we are mm. a very small world you know at least in group of architects we are all uh, yes, and you're always learning, learning. always learning from others' work. You're always learning from others. So, yeah, yeah. and it's not restricted to architecture. Even the other fields which is related to art, 
which are related to, to culture. Yeah. So they are all related. So yeah, that's why it's a very nice combination. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for that uh, wonderful presentation and journey. I, I should say it's it's not a presentation. It's just uh, we got to know your journey, and uh, thank you for that. And um, uh, it's time for the question and answer session. So I request attendees to please clarify their queries either by unmuting yourselves or you can also type it type it out in chat box. Please feel free to ask questions. Just I want to make sure uh, there are two, two guests, Vigneshwari, Ashrita. I don't know whether they're parents or students. So you, I want to check whether you are able to unmute yourself and speak. If you have any queries, yes. you can. Yeah, Ashrita. No, I'm still studying in inter-second year, sir. So I'm, I want to take a career in architecture. Very good. So you're looking for next year? Yes, sir. Very good. Very good to know that. Any queries, you can ask. Don't hesitate to interact, please. Where are you from, Hyderabad? Uh, Ashrita? I think she muted. Vigneshwari? Okay. We have shared uh, one feedback form also. You can share your details and we have uh, shared or kept my, our details also, like our director, sir, contact and my contact. You can interact with us directly. Whenever you feel uh, you know comfortable, you can call us or you know discuss WhatsApp us. And we encourage uh, you know parents and mentors, students like you to visit our college and see physically what is available and we encourage all of you to compare other colleges also so it will be good for you any queries uh, 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 yes. ashrita has uh, written in the chat box sir allow to unmute ashrita you can unmute yourself i think there is an issue we need to no uh, it's yes. done yes now yes. it is So, I think in the settings, we should change this. This is an issue. Vigneshwari, are you able to unmute yourself? Okay. Ashrita, go ahead and just try to interact with our guest speaker today. Ashrita, if you are uh, unable to unmute yourself, you can uh, write your uh, queries in the chat box. So we can interact through there also. Okay, okay, Ashrita. I think we, we need to click on ask to unmute, right? did that i was getting highlight asked to unmute or i will make them co-host then they can actually do themselves there are only two that's the best way they can unmute themselves easily now you can unmute yourself i made co-host Sir? Yes, please go ahead. Uh, what an exam should we write, sir? Yeah, there is one uh, national-wide uh, aptitude test that is not a national, ap national aptitude test for architecture. So every year they're conducting two, minimum two times. Last year they conducted three years, this, this three times. Even this year they're conducting three times. Next year, they will de decide, but minimum it will be two attempts. Best score will be considered. So out of 200 marks, 70 is the qualifying marks last two years, this year and last year. So don't worry, we will guide you. Uh, there are certain uh, pattern and exam considerations. We can go through that. And one more exam is there, uh, JE. JE, you can write uh, paper two and advance. 
then you can get better uh, options also for the prestige, other prestigious institutes. Sir, uh, would we get a scholarship in other uh, state universities too? Geetham is having certain uh, criteria that uh, scoring uh, brackets. Uh, with that, they are providing certain uh, scholarships. You can visit our website and see our uh, scholarship criteria. Likewise, every university university is having their admission criteria and uh, year-wise uh, options. They will change. There is no standard uh, things for scholarship. It depends on university yes. to university. NATA does not give any scholarship. Huh. They directly won't. Uh, they are not keeping any. They are not insisting anything as of. So it depends. So for Geetam, you can look into that this year. Next year, it will it will vary depending on the targets. Yes, Thank you, sir. Yeah. You are from, where are you from? Ashrita, Hyderabad, no, where? where do you look at? I'm from Vizan, sir. Andra. Okay, okay. So we have shared one uh, feedback form. Kindly fill it so that we'll be in touch. Yes, sir. I'm filling it. Yes. Welcome to the webinar session, Mr. Nathan. I think you're busy. Okay. Oh, sir. Uh, may I speak? I think uh, muting is the issue. May I guess? May I guess? Thank you, sir. Hello, Mr. Nathan, you can unmute yourself and speak. If you have any queries. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, please. Thank you. Thank you. I actually had a doubt, sir, regarding this uh, JE only. Uh, when, when will we be expecting the results? Is what I'm like. I think they, they'll release it soon. Everyone is expecting because they won't announce and they won't stick to the timelines most of the time. So okay, sir. Most of the students are waiting for that. Then they want to choose their institutes. Yes, sir. That's right. You are from? Mr. Nathan? I'm from Hyderabad. Where from Hyderabad? Uh, near the Gutkesa side. Okay, okay. So, great. So please fill the feedback form we have uh, kept in our chat box so that we'll be in touch. Yes, sir, I'll do that. Great. So any queries related? Ashrita, you can also speak. No queries, sir. No more queries. Okay, okay. I would suggest that both of you please come and visit our campus. It is located in Hyderabad and you can actually see what we do in class, what the infrastructure is like, what are the scholarship options. So we are ready to show you around and explain. So if possible, you can visit us. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Snadan, you're, you're Samson, right? Samson. You have visited, yes, sir, right? Yes, sir. Ah, I got it. I thought yes, while reading the name Nathan, I thought some other person. Oh, great, great. So, Mr. Nathan visited. Okay. Ashita, you can also, actually, if it is not possible, you can go through website, see your syllabus, see the faculty details, because uh, these three are uh, major criteria for any of your uh, uh, selection of colleges. The criteria is faculty, infrastructure, like library and lab. For architecture, we have computer lab and some other important labs also, like climatology lab, some other labs. So you need to keen on uh, how the institutes are maintaining. Then you can easily decide. Yes, sir. I would also like to add that since this Geetam campus is located in Hyderabad, we also get many eminent professional practicing architects who visit our campus. And as a visiting faculty also, we get them as jury members. So because Hyderabad is a metropolitan city and there are and big offices here, so it's a very good blend of visiting faculty and 
permanent faculty also. So in that way, Hyderabad is a better choice. Yes, yeah, I you could go. get an exposure of both practicing architects and academicians, which can you know, help you in the in furthering the studies also. So both uh, Soparna ma'am and uh, Nagakirti ma'am, like we strictly follow certain uh, norms given by uh, Council of Architecture. The, most of the institutes uh, dilute them or they won't take it seriously, but we strictly follow. And in that, this 25% load is one, one among hmm. them, where we strictly amend that and follow that so that it will help to encourage and, uh, you know, coordinate with the practicing architects. We blend with the practical knowledge to the theory part from the college. So the 25% load is actually out of 100% sessions, for example, 25% of the sessions will be taken by the practically practicing guys who will be coming physically to our studios and guide students as if they guide for the real projects. So that practical approach uh, will be getting right from the uh, college times to all students. Mm -hmm. That's the advantage with Geetam. So there's one more guest, Surikumari. Surikumari, you can unmute yourself and speak. I'll make you co-host. Any queries? Welcome to the webinar. Can you unmute and speak, Suri Kumari? Yeah, any queries? Don't hesitate to open up, please. I don't know whether this is a student or parent. Yeah, madam, please go ahead. Uh, yes. Hello? Hello? Uh -huh, madam. Uh, sir, I'm a student, actually. Okay. Menu actually uh, before the uh, five minutes. Menu uh, what uh, you thought until now? And what do you told until now? Hello. Hello. Uh, uh, madam, your voice is not clear. Can you, is, uh, Can you repeat here. what you said, madam, once again, please? Sir, I actually missed the first few minutes of the class, I mean, uh, the webinar. Can you please uh, tell me what you told until now? I mean, uh, just a brief of it. Hello, Surik Kumari, madam. Are you already a BR student? What is your query? You said first year. After that, we didn't hear you clearly. In anyone, anyone in the webinar understood what the query is? No, it's not clearly audible. I heard, I hear her like, it's first year related to or first year of architecture. What's the uh, Surya Kumari can uh, type in the chat box, uh, chat box also so that we can understand yes. her query. If, if it is difficult, you can type in a chat box. Yes, we yes. can read your query, madam. Surya Kumari. Uh, sir, actually, I was saying that uh, if we can request all the participants to switch on their uh, camera uh, so that we can click a group picture. Group picture. Sir, you are mute. Sir, you are mute. Yes. Ashrita, if it is okay, please keep your video on because most of the Nadan is outside, I think. He, he said, like, I know him. He said he was in the church so i don't know if it is comfortable let us otherwise we i'm taking screenshots anyhow in between uh, sir i don't have a webcam no problem madam yes that's okay ashrita can't be so suri kumari left i think she has some connectivity issues yesterday also she was there suri kumari i'll try to get the i got that feedback form in that we will come to yeah. the she, she feels any details. 
so in general also we tell in all our webinars like uh, this uh, whose connection is unstable okay in general we repeat this in all webinars like this webinars we are conducting not only to target this year there are some aspirants parents who wish to know about architecture and you know, taking career any queries we encourage them to know and interact educate them so that they can guide within their families friends and interact with us because we carry a lot of all together we carry a lot of experience and we have passion in architecture to explain and guide the aspirants so feel free to visit or call us anytime if you're not able to connect with us in this webinar uh, shaman sir you want to oh, yeah yes sir uh, yes uh, since there are two more uh, ashrita and nathan uh, i would like to also say that uh, uh, this webinar uh, will be held till october like september the series will go uh, till uh, in september and october also so uh, it will be it will be uh, conducted every saturday sunday on weekend from 11 am to 12 30 so uh, you can follow our instagram page <clears throat> like i will write it in the chat box uh, it's gsa underscore hyderabad underscore official so any update like uh, you can get on there is facebook page also with the same name and uh, we have a linkedin profile also so you can um, share get the details about all the updates regarding any uh, anything like whether it's a webinar or any workshop conducted or any guest lectures and all so you can uh, get updates and you can share it among others also and um, it will be a great like uh, every saturday sunday if you join or for a uh, for weekend you can actually get um, exposure to all the industry experts and also uh, academician who uh, practicing also side by side and we also have a, lots of exposure so you uh, you will be able to understand better and i would like to congratulate uh, shoponi ma'am also that uh, the presentation was uh, very very uh, interesting like it was like a story the way you uh, framed the story it was a storyboard so um, and i also felt nostalgic so it reminded me of my journey also as an um, architecture student then architect and now academician so um, dear students i would be very glad if you yes like uh, our uh, academic coordinator is architect kanaka nageshwar rao sir so uh, please uh, feel flexible to uh, fill the feedback form and do visit our website and also uh, any queries and all uh, you can ask kanaka nageshwara sir so he is associate professor in geetam hyderabad so uh, uh, you will get a great understanding about it so thank you everyone thank you snigtha yeah thank you uh, saman sir you want to add anything i think he is not able to welcome to the webinar uh, manoj sir hi just saw the message nageshwar uh, ji yes, sir 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 i just saw morning, I, i was outside my home i just saw the message and i thought let me join it's very interesting yes sir we just uh, completed one presentation sir we are actually encouraging and uh, promoting architecture about uh, successful career and uh, details for the aspirants and even for the next year uh, aspirants not only for this year admissions or looking for joining architecture that's the idea sir to be very honest with you i think a lot of effort needs to go into getting the best people join architecture it's an amazing thing you guys are doing i think if you're doing it every weekend 
over yes, three sir. three months i think it's a real but i think this needs to get more into the schools and colleges i think why don't you guys i think each and every institute of india from 9th 10th onwards it's more like a career counseling i think we yes. have not reached out to schools to encourage students to take up architecture or design education those who have the you know they are all being swayed by what they are seeing around so no one is actually guiding them what their interest lies where their talent lies so i think we are very weak then we complain about bad input into colleges we complain about people not being fit to be designers and we are unable to you know really instill passion in them because most of them are the people who have not got anywhere most i won't say everyone lot of people they don't do anything so they join architecture because it's easy to get with so many colleges today and i think it's something where we all need to uh, really uh, you know sit together all the college principals directors of there are 16 colleges in hyderabad region can you imagine 16 colleges imparting design education another four imparting interior design education so i think you i think geetam should can take the lead you have a very dynamic vice chancellor at the helm of jnafu i think you you we we all need in fact when i say you i think we all need because i have also got associated with education in the last one and a half year i have been teaching uh, on a on a weekly basis and i had also visited uh, geetam uh, last month it was very very encouraging to see the output of students when i actually took an internal jury it was really nice uh, for one of your semesters so all the best to your series i don't take too much of your yes, time sir. please go ahead yes sir thank you for the kind words and what you said is 100% correct so we are striving for that and we are uh, trying to guide uh, at least this year nata eligible students to choose the right institute because still we have time and admissions are going on most of the students who got qualified also they are waiting for je results because some students are targeting for better institutes or iits away from hyderabad so like you rightly said uh, most of them are very keen few are uh, uh, left with no option rather architecture but still they are uh, having interest but they are not able to attend the nata on the right time that is one more issue we are mm. facing so all these we are trying to patch up or fill the gaps by doing webinars and uh, educating them or making them know about at least next year because most of the students siblings their family people or known people uh, who know uh, know about architecture by the time somebody approaches them these timelines are going off or they are already gone so in the last moment they are not coming to know because every year nata starts from january to uh, till august sir they have exams in three phases yes so i think it's better class. late than never so even if you started now i think it's a great initiative for future course yes, future sir. batches to you know get the right input at the right time and i actually nearly every day in one of my groups of professional groups i keep getting inquiries please let us know if shushant school is better or manipal is better or this is better see everyone you know so and there is no way you know really there is no so much of information available uh, with everyone to for uh, as far as you know what are the ratings for colleges what each college can offer none of these colleges are actually even uh, talking about themselves their teaching methodologies pedagogies what are their key strengths what are their key faculties what is their campus look like i think it's just uh, yeah it then it, it becomes you know uh, people who have uh, who, who are little known that's where people flock to and there are some very good institutes just because they are not able to you know update themselves uh, they get left out so i think it's very important that uh, uh, you know the architecture colleges also take a lot of uh, uh, you know uh, on themselves to you know propagate especially those who are doing fantastic work so what happens is the colleges who are not so good would want to then come up to those standards so frankly now the competition is there has to be healthy competition and in, in education now that there is so much of uh, commercial uh, you can call it privatization of uh, institutes right now so there has to be healthy competition only then you know yes. each will be uh, have a minimum level of uh, you know infrastructure education and you know output from them in terms of what they can give, uh, give to students and some of you are taking a huge effort i can see but other people they are just managing 
so and i think yes, the sir, council yes, of architecture also needs to be wary of how they are recognizing institutes and they need to be stricter in terms of you know uh, upping the standard of education and making sure that if you are setting up a design college you better be at least 70% i think our qualifying should be 70 not 50 uh, yes yeah because we are very young colleges most of them are 15 20 20 year old and for architecture colleges these are very young colleges any college 10 15 year old these are all young colleges because we have very sir. great institutes in the country which are older so yeah i think all the best to your series and i'll see i'll try to also propose this to many colleges schools we should reach out to as many to attend these seminars i think it'll be really nice if uh, it it continues like this for at least one year so we have a very healthy batch of students attending nata as well as you know joining colleges the right colleges yes sir yes sir sure sir uh, your experiential words and statements uh, energizes us thank you for joining and Uh, no no i would love motivation. to you know i would love to it's the best <laughs> yes, thing you can do on a sunday is to you know look at what's happening in your profession as far as education yes, is concerned correct sir we are also planning a open house i think our director sir sunil sir is looking no no i am already re- no no i have already slotted he said okay. 4th 5th 6th yes, of september yes, i need sir. to be between 4 and 6 pm i need to yes, give sir. a slot i think tomorrow i'll be reach- actually i had to travel so i wasn't very sure which day i'll be available but most Great, likely sir. i'll do it on either monday or wednesday because tuesday is my lecture in the college i take classes weekly tuesday is my college so i'll probably sure, come sir. on monday and i'll you know make a presentation i would That just take great. some more details on the number of minutes i need to present and what exactly is expected of the presentation because that is very important you should not yes. go in another tangent you know there is an Correct, expectation sir. of the induction program for students and everyone should stick to the brief what is required yes, of him to be presented definitely sir. thank you very much sir yes sir sure sir i'll be in touch sir thank you for your surely, time surely. thank you yeah. thank you and thank we you. have uh, yes sir one more guest rajwardhan reddy you can unmute yourself and you just join welcome for the webinar you have any queries rajwardhan no sir so are you a student or looking for uh, admission in architecture No, no. Actually, I'm working in dentist planners. Okay, great, great. So we are conducting this webinar series to educate and uh, you know, aver- create awareness on successful career in architecture about our journeys. So great, great for joining us. Please spread the word. Every Saturday, Sunday, we are having this. So more uh, reachability, we'll try to do like monos. Sir advised us. We'll try to uh, connect it to other schools and their uh, students so that they will tell their parents and siblings possibly. Ha, Samanji, please, please unmute yourself and speak. Hello, Shaman. I think by by mistake he has clicked. He has raised the hand. Okay. Shaman, uh, you can Sir, speak. I have a query, please. Yes. Sir, actually, I am looking on working of my portfolio, and I am having some uh, clay model ideas. So, do you think it is worth the effort to put in that to make a portfolio for architecture, sir, at this point in time? Nithan, sir. Ah, huh, yes, yes. Yeah, that that we will. Uh, Another what what uh, you can do is, is you can keep it, but nobody will ask your portfolio at this stage. Probably for after you joining, you start building your portfolio that will help you to showcase your strength and interest. Okay, sir. Nobody uh, will ask. In fact, but you can you, you can you can start putting your strengths and your works, your creative stuff. That's a parallel work. once you yes. join academics they will demand lot of assignments and uh, your uh, uh, starting of your ideology in certain pattern because they will design design the uh, submissions and assignments in such a way so that you will start developing your uh, style of thinking patterns and ideology understood sir thank you okay yeah kavita uh, yeah. actually i was so, technically yes. raising but i was not able to unmute myself wanted to thank uh, manoj bhai sir for his uh, participation in our uh, uh, 
career guidance program so i yeah, was trying yeah. to do unmute myself from that time but it was not happening so oh, okay so, so now now i you, you are co host continuously i don't know there are I some know, issues i was trying to do that but no, it was not happening anyways uh, okay yeah please continue i'm here i think sir left sir uh, just joined to okay. see what's happening he understood like uh, we get them both together from vizag and hyderabad we were doing continuously webinars so he noticed that and uh, uh, we were doing saturday and sundays he appreciated for doing it on sundays because most of the yeah yeah i heard that i heard that i heard that. I, I, was, I was like you rightly heavy. said uh, other day like you rightly heavy. said we need to uh, just make sure the targeted audience are aware of our webinars we'll do that by next Correct. week for sure yeah. since this is uh, first week we were not able to reach them oh, no. and we are recording this we'll put it on uh, youtube also okay 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 to make sure Thank these you. are available yeah let us i think it's time to conclude or anything any sir is available mano sir is available you can speak to him saman ji sir is there hello sir. yeah hello good morning sir good good morning sir thank you very much uh, for uh, attending we we met uh, during the review sir external review yes yes i remember very much yes yes sir thank you very much sir your enthusiasm and your curiosity to participate in these programs is like really inspiring thank you very much sir no no i think we need to get more people on board and i be very honest with you that you know in 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 our entire profession uh, we always raise a voice uh, whenever but it it's not enough i think we need to act everyone you talk to anyone he has a voice uh, he has all the concerns he knows everything but what are we doing about it so i think it's very important that we need to start some movement in architectural Correct. education very strong movement for at least one is to make sure that the right people are getting into the courses for design i always use the word design because frankly once you graduate out of a college it's all about design it could be digital it could be graphic it could be anything so it's all about user experience you know it could be anything so it's all about design education the way it's done and counseling probably i do yes, not sir. know why we do not end up holding counseling sessions in every hyderabad 10th 11th 12th class students we have to create all these colleges have to create a pool of counselors who then engage yes, with every college whether it's a state board whether it's icsc cbsc any iv curriculum and have a professional engagement like as it it's part of their curriculum to include career counseling for design education once in when the student is in class 10th 11th and 12th yes sir absolutely it's right it's very sir. important i think we we need to take this up at the education department level we need to you know meet absolutely. the minister of education higher education and you know just not talking yes, but making it happen and you know i remember i am talking of 1970s when i was passing out of school we were given these counseling sessions in a school run by the missionaries in mumbai it wasn't yes. one of those schools but those schools knew how to you know channelize students into their professional careers or into their careers somewhere down the line we lost it and everything is become online people go to youtube to listen and all of that so i think that's self when you take information self consume information i think it doesn't make so much sense i'm i'm a firm believer of self consumption really does not have the impact opening a yes. youtube video and try to self consume does not have an impact there has to be a one is to one dialogue and you need to hear people out at at a level where you can talk to them reach out to them on a in 30 minute session 40 minute session that's it yeah. and so, i think we so need to do this at least correct, this year sir. we you have to i don't know why we don't sir. do it yes. 17, sir 16. i have yes sorry to interrupt sir so i have a lot of uh, you know thought lines and proposals in this line we'll be in touch sir definitely with you we yeah i think so you yeah yeah, yeah. guys like you just first is you need to get all 16 mm -hmm. colleges together number one i think most important is that you act as one unit in in yes, at sir. least in the region of hyderabad so 16 yes, 18 sir. colleges together so, have a meeting I, how to improve the intake quality of intake into architecture because 
half the battle is won if you have the right people getting into the college it's half the battle won so i i would like to inform governor session or uh, anchor nagakirti has to leave so she left i will be taking over we are thanking her to be today's anchor thank you sir uh, manoj ji we will connect sir definitely and uh, we will take this forward uh, the great experience what you carry and what you have seen in the industry even uh, similar experience me shaman garu lot of people have so i will come back to you sir on this definitely in a surely surely thank uh, you thing. for allowing me to be part of this entire series i'll be really grateful for yes, your sir, yes, you know sir. for your reach program and sharing the information a great and wishing all the best for this series and i'm sure it's going to make a lot of impact going forward with our yes, sir. education great sir thank you sir so i'll propose a vote of thanks sir if you allow us manoj sir we will connect again i think yeah, yeah surely surely please please uh, otherwise uh, we will connect over the phone after this webinar no, it's unfortunate that no. it could have i was actually traveling in my my second phone which carries my whatsapp was not with me so as soon as i switched it on i saw this immediately i logged yeah. on to you it it is our luck then <laughs> no 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 you. No. Sorry. thank you yes, thank you thank you, so, thank you so much thank you very much sir thank you very much sir for gracing us today uh and uh, it's a surprise for us and it's a very good motivation thank you and i would like to propose uh, thanks to our guest speaker and my colleague sapani pol accredited sapani pol for sharing her experience and uh, you know how how she feel she is successful till this moment in her career and how she faced uh, her decision making in various phases of, of after bia Uh, pg how every student carries different phases in architecture career she very well uh, portrayed and uh, rest you, of the sir. things thank you madam and uh, today she is our uh, guest speaker sir we are doing webinars uh, every saturday sunday saturday she is the guest speaker from practicing architects and sundays we are making from our faculty so that uh, we know like sundays will be a little bit hectic for everyone but still from our fraternity itself from our or uh, faculty stream itself we are making it so that we all will be engaged to make sure this webinar continues and who are misses some saturday we are making on sunday so that they can join and uh, uh, thank you manoj sir for your surprise uh, uh, you know joining us and uh, giving your motivation thank you shamant garu snigdhara and all the participants uh, we, we on behalf of uh, geetam dmtv university geetam school of architecture hyderabad thank you everyone and uh, we look forward for the webinar series 2022 uh, for coming up till october end every saturday sunday we will be conducting this thank you very much thank uh, sir uh, oh. we can stop the recording yes okay. thank you so much everyone